Hello everyone and welcome back to Comcrafty. Uh, I want to welcome you to this year's um, seven jolly days of Christmas. It's um, a series with uh, Christmas inspiration, especially for you. And uh, there will be seven projects uh, that will be uh, presented to you every second day, starting with Sunday 14th of November and ending uh, on Saturday, I think, 26th of November. Um, at the end of this series, there will be, of course, a giveaway. And uh, I know there are photos showing the prizes, but I want to uh, tell you in detail what they are. Um, so, there will be three sets, in other words, three winners, three lucky winners, and each uh, set will contain 12 sheets of pattern papers of 20 by 20 centimeters, and these are the same between the three sets. Uh, then there will be two sheets of pattern paper of 15 by 15 centimeters with elegant designs and glitter as well. These are different between the sets. There will be two decorative scissors, also different, and one sheet of epoxy stickers, also different. Except all these products, there will be a set of three cards for each of the three winners. Uh, the cards are different, all are unique, and they are handmade by me. And I really, really hope you like them. You can, of course, uh, keep one for yourself if you like one very much, and you can, uh, or you can send them all to your dear and loved ones. Um, and now about the conditions for the giveaway. It's not um, all you have to do, it's of course to subscribe to my channel and make sure you are a visible subscriber so that I, I can identify you for the prize. For the, there will be a random uh, draw at the end. Uh, you have to be 18 years old or more. You have to live in Romania. You have to comment to as many of the, these seven videos and share the videos on Facebook or Instagram or both with hashtag comcrafty. You will find the conditions in the description box down below. Um, and that is all. <laughs> that is all you have to do. Uh, I wish you to have a lot of fun and I wish you good luck. And uh, can't wait to show you what I have created this year. First album, it's a really big one. It's the biggest I have created so far. I have created previously two albums close in size to this one. They are both wedding albums. Same format, landscape, only none of them um, um, surpassed, went over 30 uh, centimeters. This one is 33 in length, 22 in width, and uh, eight and a half in spine. Um, and it's in a classic style. Um, on the cover, I wanted very much to um, portray that um, idea of the Christmas market of the uh, Victorian uh, cities and villages, which I always like very much in uh, the series I watched. <laughs> um, and I know there are among you pretty many that like this kind of uh, movies and series for Christmas. And because the paper collection is so suited for this uh, style, as you will see inside, um, I thought it's perfect. So uh, the cover is, as you see, pretty simple. In the middle, it has the tree and the big star. They are both laminated. And around, there are uh, laser-cut houses um, to the left and to the right. And up in the corners, also left and right, there are two lanterns, also laser-cut. Um, I do hope you like it. It makes me feel very good only when I look at it. Uh, and yes, the background, the cardstock, it's, here it seems dark, but it's a uh, Bordeaux, it's uh, dark red. On the back you have uh, uh, four of the um, tags from the collection, which are also laminated, put on a uh, base of cardstock, and I left space so you can fit in uh, small things, if you want, Christmas related. 
Okay, as we open on the uh, front inner cover, we have a big flap. And by the way, in this album, you can fit um, pretty many photos, like up to 200. Uh, but um, they, of course, even more, but they all, they, none of them has to be trimmed. That's what I want to say. And you can fit all the way up to 18 by 25 centimeter photos. Okay, so as you can see, uh, here we have a flap that goes to the left. I made a tuck spot there where you can insert photos, you in, put some photo mats. So you can increase the number of photos if you want. And I advise you to do, if you want to do so, to do it only on the back and front covers because they can sustain. Not in the album itself because then it will be too much weight pulling off the um, spine. Okay, in the middle here, uh, between behind the flaps, the side flaps, we have a big uh, Z fold, accordion fold, uh, where you can fit, as you can imagine, many photos. Um, so now we move on to the first page. All pages have inserts, and they are the side size of a one uh, A four page, uh, only just a bit. So. It's actually 20 centimeters, not 20 and a half. Uh, in width and in length, it's 28 centimeters instead of 29.7. So it's almost an A4. Um, here I'm showing you that you can insert another photo mat, but like I said, I actually advise you to do it only on the front and back covers. Um, so we have these front flaps. Uh, accordion which have uh, obviously place on the back as well and then you can insert small things like a photo for example or two um, or a journaling uh, page let's say for your photos but um, yes this is how this is how the collection looks it's by the way all the album is made with um, a collection called Time of Wonders by Minte Papers. As you know, I usually work with Minte Papers. This is the insert and you saw uh, every page has one and they have been rounded to the corners on the inside so they uh, slide in um, easier. And here I'm showing you that they measure 28 centimeters in length uh, by, like I said, 20 uh, in width. Okay, so you can fit four more photos uh, on that insert uh, as well. Okay, so that was the front of the page. Now, as we turn the page, we have um, my favorite scene from the uh, whole collection. It's the um, shop front, shop window. Uh, and it reminds me very much of the movie the Sh Shop Around the Corner, if you have seen it, with James Stewart. It's an old movie from the 60s, I think. 40s. 40s even, my husband says. <laughs> uh, he's a specialist in movies. And um, yes, it's a lovely scene, this one. And uh, I'm showing you there the post box, which is adorable. Um, as you will see yourself when you get the album. <laughs> And by the way, as you know, all my albums are unique, so none of them is made in more than one copy. These two flaps, they go uh, up and down, and then uh, they have space for photos under, and then the whole thing moves to the left, where you have another uh, tuck spot, where you can, uh, again, uh, use a photo mat to insert there if you want. If not, something else, just photos if you want, or uh, journaling pages and inside there in the middle I have an insert that I put myself uh, there it's um, yeah simple but I thought it looked nice to be uh, in the middle um, and this is how it looks with space of course itself for photos um, so yes the album it's uh, pretty simple it's not um, much um, not full of add-ons because I thought the collection and the style of the album uh, I wanted it classic so uh, I kept it like that here on the second page we have a flap and then we have a pocket um, that flap covers the pocket perfectly 
So it's a nice surprise. And then you have this uh, interrupted continuity again. It's an effect that I always like to go for. And the same, when you turn the flap over, it's the same idea. Um, and on the back, again, we turn and we have my favorite uh, scenery, um, the shop, shop window. And it's a, f a big flap here that uh, opens upward. Um, and uh, it hides very nice uh, elements. So uh, you will see it's obviously like that. A whole page in which uh, to which I put in the corners on the bottom corners I put two small tuck spots from the small collection 15 by 15 centimeters and one sentiment up and here it's a very nice page uh, made with some of the leftovers I love combining if I can um, and talking of leftovers in uh, one other album that I will show you in this series uh, you will see I have some whole pages made of uh, leftovers and they turned out beautifully. This other flap, of course, I did the same thing. I put um, tuck spots in the bottom corners and one sentiment on the bottom between them. And here we have Z fold flaps, uh, adorable. I adore that page very much, um, that pattern. And here again, made of leftovers, I think they combined very, very well together. You wouldn't say it's leftovers. It's uh, from different uh, pages, basically. And uh, uh, yes, I rounded the corners to these ones. And now we move on to the last, third and last page, um, which is again, a pretty simple one, but of course it has to be something uh, special about it, as you will see, and I hope you like it too. So on the front, it has a uh, whole waterfall made of the pages from the small collection. I think it, there are five or six, let's see. I forgot, obviously, meanwhile. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, I think. Three, four, uh, five, and six. Six there are. Okay, um, so you have space here for well, 13 photos, big photos. So if you want, you can make them even 14 and a half by 14 and a half. And right behind them, it's a, a photo mat that um, actually act, uh, acts like a stopper, uh, like a belly band, because uh, without it, you can only without it in place, you can open this whole thing, which you can see there are actually two Z fold uh, flaps that open to the left and right. Again, I put some um, tuck spots made of ephemera in this case uh, on the flaps and inside uh, made of the tags from the big collection. And now we put it back in and now you cannot open the page. <laughs> and again, we have the insert uh, decorated nicely like everyone else. Here we have, and I love this effect when you have both on the left and on the right, uh, the punched edges. <clears throat> um, here we have a waterfall page. Um, or cascading pages, I should say. Uh, it's a big surface. And again, we have tuck spots on the left on all of them. And on, on the right, um, close, very close to the punched edge, we have an ephemera decoration um, to highlight uh, the fact that something happens there. And one who has to check out what exactly happens there. And now uh, we are already at the end uh, on the back uh, cover, back inner cover. Here we have um, again two Z folds um, that I have decorated like that on the front, you saw. Uh, only these ones they open once and then they open again um, to the sides. And I have put uh, some tuck spots, as you can see, on all of them from the a uh, small collection and on the inside the right flap I put a big one uh, and that cardstock there is actually pretty thick and it's uh, shimmery as you might see hope the camera catches it then you turn the right flap to the right you have some more tuck spots like I said here you can take advantage and put, put as many uh, photo inserts as you can because being a cover it doesn't actually pull on the 
on the spine. And now we have the left flap uh, with the sentiment and the small tuck spot from the small collection. I have uh, rounded the corners to this one. And then we move it, uh, open it to the left, and there we have some more tuck spots. It's actually tuck spots all around here. Um, and this time they are back to back, as you can see. Um, all of them have the corners rounded and they allow you for a lot of space, extra space for your uh, precious photo memories. Uh, like I said, in this one, in this album, you can um, uh, insert your photos in classic formats. You don't need to trim any of them because it's so big and it allows you, if you want to put big photos, you can go all the way up to uh, 18 by 25 centimeter photos. So that's it and um, I really hope you like it. You saw the back already and yes, in the corners it's uh, decorated with the metallic golden corners. I thought they suit very well the collection. <clears throat> um, and yes, here on the front I forgot to say that the whole scenery is put on golden um, cardstock as well. Um, I really hope you like it. Uh, I will leave a link in the description box down below uh, to the shop where you will find this uh, album. And uh, don't forget, we have a free delivery. Until after tomorrow, uh, when I will put the next video, I wish you a happy day. Bye bye.